Talent is an important key to your leadership. The good news is, everyone comes into this world loaded with precious talents. My purpose on this video is to share with you how to develop your talent to become your skill. Once again, talent is any recurring pattern of thoughts, feeling, or behavior that can be productively applied. Talent, indeed, is divine in nature. It actually comes from God. The first thing to do to develop your talent into skill is to cultivate strong spirituality in your life. What is spirituality? Spirituality simply refers to your personal relationship with God the Almighty. It is more than going to church. Spirituality is loving God intentionally. Someone can be a leader even in the church and is not spiritual. For instance, in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8, the Bible says, Exercise daily in God. No spiritual flabbiness, please. Workouts in the gymnasium are useful, but a disciplined life in God is far more so, making you fit both today and forever. That is the message translation. The Living Bible version also says, Bodily exercise is all right. But spiritual exercise is much more important and is a tonic for all you do. So exercise yourself spiritually and practice being a better Christian because that will help you not only now in this life but in the next life too. The easy to read Bible version also put it this way. Training your body helps you in some ways but devotion to God helps you in every way. It brings you blessings in this life and in the future life. My friend, spirituality or devotion to God will help enhance your talents. Remember Esau, the twin brother of Jacob. Esau was naturally endowed by God to be a great leader on earth. He was the firstborn in that family. He had a birthright that positions him for unlimited benefit in the family. Yet, Esau did not love God the one who gave him the gift. He didn't have any personal devotion for God. So one day, he was hungry. Then he asked Jacob to give him a plate of food. Jacob turned the situation into a negotiation for Esau's birthright. But Esau didn't care about his birthright. He considered a plate of food more important than his God-given gift. And he agreed with Jacob to go away with his own birthright for a plate of food. Imagine that, my friend. What a poor negotiator. Lack of spirituality is deep darkness. It does not allow a person to see where. It does not allow a person to value what he or she has. Consider the situation of many people in Africa. We are heavily endowed by God in Africa, but we don't value our endowments and we refuse to develop them by ourselves. My friend, this situation is unfortunate because God hates people who refuse to develop what they have. The second thing that you need to do to develop your talent is you must love people and productively engage your talent for their good. Remember Joseph, the 11th son of Jacob. His brothers hated him and badly handled him and sold him away to Egypt where Joseph eventually became a ruler. At the end of the day, Joseph didn't have bitterness towards his brothers. When Joseph got to the prison, he loved the fellow prisoners. One day, he saw two prisoners looking sad. He showed them concern and they told him they had disturbing dreams. Joseph accurately used his gift and he interpreted their dreams. It was one of the prisoners who was used by God to elevate Joseph to the palace. Imagine that, my friend. Your love for other people will prepare you to engage your talent to help solve their problems. Joseph was passionate about people. He was socially sensitive and beneficial. My friend, the third thing you ought to do to develop your talent is to be courageous. Take note that one of the greatest enemies of leadership is fear. And the only way to conquer fear is courage. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 6 to 7, the Bible says, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee, by the putting on of my hands. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love, 
and of sound mind. My friend, anytime fear comes to your heart in your endeavors, that fear is not from God. Fear comes from the evil one. God doesn't send fear to his people. He sends power instead. You can decide to cast fear away from your life and cultivate the power for courage. My friend, it is your personal responsibility to develop your talent into skill. Humble yourself also to learn from the masters in the area of your talent. You will soon become a celebrity. Touch the subscribe and bell buttons below so you may receive notifications once I upload my new video. Remain blessed in Jesus' name.